Alright, it worked. That rolls really good. Yeah. Hey, what's going on y'all? Alright, so the um, trailer is almost put back together. I kind of wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I did go up fishing earlier today. They're not eating at all. Um, wanted to kind of give you an update on the trailer since we haven't really talked about it for a while. Um, this is what I'm working on right now. Um, I need to get something for the, the boat so that I can cover it and then I can get the paint and done everything on it so we can get it ready for spring. But I have these straps. Um, when I tried to seat this they're um, on the springs this is the trailer flipped over uh, upside down but um, on the springs right here there are two little um, I don't know they kind of they're like little nipples that stick up and there is a box end on the other side of this that I'll show you after I get uh, the tie plate kit on but the springs were the trailer's so old and it was kind of like bowed out just a little bit um, I had to use straps <laughs> and pull them in to get this position but anyway we're gonna get this put on um, welcome to Big Bear Fishing by the way my name is Nathan if you're not already subscribed go down and do that for me right now um, yeah so we're gonna get this put on I got this up at one of the local hardware stores and this will be able, I'll be able to flip this over and um, we'll be just about good to go on the trailer. We got a couple more things that we got to do, which we'll, we'll go over, but um, yeah, so get this done. All right, y'all, so if you look right here, this is the, the hub. If you look right under there, there's a little pin and that sits right there. Just kind of it's like extra insurance that it doesn't move around too much but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brackets and they pretty much go like that and then there's a plate and the plate goes on the bottom but um I'll do that and I'll show you what we're doing here and um, after we get done with that then we'll put the new in that box right there Oscar's right there um, that box right there is our two new tires so it's exciting I'm really really excited to have this done the trailer will technically be working I just got to replace like rollers there I got a roller here and I got a pin right here that needs replaced with like a keel something or other I think that one up there is good but yeah so let's do this I'll show you how to do it all right so in the pack there's a plate and it's a thick plate um, there's a plate for each side so We'll do one plate there, one plate over here. Lift this up, and then we have lock washers, regular washers, and our U bolts. So, get that all ready to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sort these out. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and sort these out, and then I'll have what I need on each side. The basic idea is plate goes there, there's a little hole in the bottom too, plate goes there, U-bolt, like that, and then and then bolt on the bottom. I'm just going to get these kind of started on here and then I'll go back and I'll tighten them all up because you want to get it kind of even as even as possible. Right. And then that's what we're gonna do um, times four on each side. So I'm not gonna make you watch I'm not gonna make you watch me do all that. But uh that's the general idea. And then I'll show you what the finished product is. Alright I'll see how that is starting to look a little crooked. I'm gonna straighten that up now. I don't think it's really going to matter, but I'm going to straighten it up now just because I can, rather than get it all tightened down and then straighten it up. Alright y'all, so little trick, um, I use two ratchet straps. I came across, there. see how I got them X'd? It's because I went here, that is one, two, three on the leaf spring. I went right there, 
and then I went over to this one. Jesse helped me, um, just held it there so it didn't slip off. Went on that one, see how it's like sitting right on the other side of that? I did that, um, one going this way, one going this way, because uh, the ratchet straps um, couldn't hold a lot. I didn't want to end up breaking them and getting them in the eye or anything. But uh, the, basically, if you look right here, see how straight that is right now? It's like perfectly straight. Hey, there's this. Hey. <laughs> um, see how straight this is now? That was kind of bowed out like that because it's an old trailer. And in order to get those pulled in towards each other, I used the straps. So it's a little trick for you because you got to get that little um, nut right there, that little pin. You got to get it inside this hole. But uh, yeah, it's a little trick. Try it, it works. But I'm going to go ahead and undo these straps. I'm going to tighten down my U-bolts on my tie plates. And then I am going to put the wheels on. Alright y'all, we're ready to put the tires on. Ezra is going to put the lug nuts on. While I hold the tire. Alright y'all, so Ezra got all these started, we're just going through and snugging them up and then we'll flip the trailer over and then I'll tighten them all down. Alright, it worked. That rolls really good. Yeah, Won't be able to do this probably as easy with the boat on, but... Maybe with the boat itself on there we could roll it like that, but not with the motor on too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Alright, we'll come in and eat. Alright y'all, so that's it for today. Um, I will, once we get the boat on there, I'll tighten those lug nuts up more. I don't need them really tight right now. But I'm going to get everything secured back here. And then, um, yeah, thanks for the help. Yep. And thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Take care.